hey everybody what's up and welcome back to the channel and welcome to my another new video in this video I'm gonna show you how to fix user stuck at launching screen or user launching screen stuck problem so uh, whenever I try to play any game in my user emulator so my game uh, is stuck or freeze after launching or launching screen so you can see my game is launching so wait for some time over here now I skip this video uh, over here so I show you the problem the issue for your uh, uh, for the game and user so you can see black screen and uh, guys do not skip any part of this video I will show you all solutions of this problem so you can see my game is not working and is it stuck or freezed so i have already firmware files and my prod keys so my prod keys is up to date so uh, this time you can see my game is not working so user is stuck uh, after launching so how we can fix this issue let's start but guys do not skip any part of this video uh, i have a new method to fix this issue and guys please uh, do not forget to subscribe my this youtube channel i really need more subscriber for my this youtube channel so please please subscribe guys so you can see uh, stuck uh, uh, with black screen so i have fps 118 120 123 so emulation and stop it now i show you i have already uh, firmware files for my this game for user emulator so you can see a uh, NAND folder and system content register so I have already firmware files and I have already updated keys but uh, this issue uh, uh, can cause uh, uh, for my user emulator uh, freezing or stuck so I go to file and open user folder keys folder so my key is up to date uh, first solution is uh, if you want to fix this issue for your any game then uh, go to emulation and configuration and make sure uh, you, you have uh, using uh, uh, journal settings limit speed percent so you need to decrease it so I'm using 100% over here so so I need to decrease it, uh, set it to 100, this one, and uh, OK, and play the game. As this is first solution, and uh, do not skip any part, guys. So wait for some time over here. Now I press ER on my keyboard, and here we go. You can see game is working and the issue uh, the error has been fixed and uh, if you want more solutions of this problem then uh, yep make sure you have uh, latest vision uh, your prod keys with your latest version firmware files go to files and open user folder and keys folder so replace the file with destination after updating keys you should restart your user emulator it's very important restart it and this is second solution of this problem and the third solution is File, open user folder, so NAND folder, system, content, registered. So make sure you have uh, latest version firmware files. So it is not third solution of this problem. Uh, I'm telling you, you need uh, firmware files to fix uh, black screen or stuck or freezing problem for 32-bit games. So if you have 32-bit games, uh, you can see I, I uh, want to show you something more if you have 32 bit games then you need uh, these firmware files so I play the game uh, you can see uh, 32 bit if you are using if you are playing 32 bit games 
uh, on your Zeus emulator then you'll need uh, firmware files so 32 bit games uh, like uh, new super mario bros u deluxe and uh, mario kart 8 deluxe so you need some uh, firmware files for uh, a user emulator to run these games so it's done and for most solutions good emulation and configuration and make sure you are using default resolution scale uh, from your user emulator for any game so good graphics and 1x resolution scale is the best so if you want to use more resolution scale uh, like uh, you can see a 2x resolution and 3x then you can increase your uh, uh, resolution from your PC so I cancel it and I show you something more to understand some things so right click and go to NVIDIA control panel because I have NVIDIA GPU now I go to display settings over here and change the resolution so you can see I have a native resolution uh, 1024 by 1068 so I cannot increase my resolution uh, from uh, my uh, from my user emulator because uh, I don't have a powerful GPU if you have uh, uh, native resolution uh, 1980 by uh, 1280 then you can increase your resolution skill from your uh, user emulator so I have uh, native resolution skill this one so and uh, emulation configuration so I can use uh, this resolution skill uh, from my user emulator if you have a more powerful GPU then you can use the uh, 2x or 3x resolution scale but you can face lagging issue low performance issue uh, after selecting 3x or uh, 2x resolution scale so I don't recommend uh, these uh, uh, resolution scale so I recommend this one if you if you have a simple GPU uh, graphics card uh, in your PC already installed and okay and if you want uh, more solutions uh, if you are facing if you're still facing the issue uh, so I have another solution go to emulation and uh, configuration and go to CPU system no not here multi core CPU emulation it's very important to fix stuck or freeze issue uh, from your user emulator Multi-core CPU emulation can help you turn games uh, more FPS and maximum performance. So, if you want to use uh, multi-core CPU emulation, then make sure uh, you have 8 gigabytes RAM uh, already installed in your PC. So, I have 8 gigabytes RAM already installed in my PC. So, uh, go to search bar on your Windows and type here MS Config and go to system configuration click here and guys do not skip any part of this video and do not forget to subscribe my this channel i really need more subscribers guys so please subscribe and go to boot options and advanced options so check this option so i have uh, 8 gigabytes ram as you can see so check this option so i have 8 gb ram already installed in my pc if you want to use uh, all RAM already installed in your PC then you can uncheck this option and you can uh, check this option or uh, you can select big number from here and uh, big number uh, does not show if big number does not show over here then you can uncheck this option so it's very uh, important thing uh, to get more performance uh, uh, from your PC so okay and apply and OK. Now restart your PC now. After restarting your PC, you can use multi core CP emulation from your user emulator. And OK. And if you're still facing the issue, then I have uh, another solution go to emulations and configuration and go to graphics tab and select Vulkan from here and uh, you can select your uh, gpu video decoding by default settings and if you have uh, uh, external gpu then you can select default and if you have external gpu then you can select cpu video decoding 
but I have an external GPU this is why I choose this one and uh, if you have AMD a GPU then you can select uh, this one super resolution AMD and check these options all that is uh, checked by default and good advanced options and select from here uh, high if you have more powerful GPU and if you have a simple GPU then you can select normal so check this option uh, if you are using Vulkan then you can use these op these options and uh, yeah over here you can see the code ESTC textures uh, you can uh, check this option uh, if you are facing crashing problem or low FPS problem then you can uncheck this option but I recommend this one because we are uh, facing uh, black screen uh, stuck or freezing problem so I recommend this one check this option and uh, okay and if you want to use Vulkan then make sure you have latest version drivers for your GPU device if you want to update your drivers then uh, go to search bar on your windows and type here uh, device manager and device manager control panel and make sure you have latest version drivers for your GPU device display adapter and right click and properties and go to drivers so uh, you can see driver date and driver version so i i am using the uh, latest version drivers new drivers for my gpu device in 2023 if you are using oldest version drivers then you can face a lot of issues for your user emulator for any game so please update your drivers for your gpu first and okay now i close it and okay and for more solutions right click if you have windows 10 or 11 and go to display settings and you need to select your user emulator application file and scroll down and graphic settings and remove your old application file from here remove and browse so my user is uh, is in desktop and right click and open file location and select this application file add options and options and high performance and save now close it and one more important thing guys if you have recently updated your drivers for your GPU device then you'll need some more settings for your GPU device so I have Nvidia GeForce GPU then I go to my Nvidia control panel and I need to change some settings from my uh, Nvidia control panel Go to adjust image settings but first go to manage 3d settings and scroll down and vertical sync should be off from here and you can select uh, from here this one and scroll up and power management mode and maximum performance and uh, OpenGL rendering GPU select your GPU device from here so all that is selected and texture fitting quality should be uh, maximum performance high performance okay and it's done and apply now go to adjust image settings guys do not skip any part of this video I will show you all settings uh, for your user emulator and check this option and the performance and check this option and apply and go to configure surround and uh, auto selected recommended but we need to choose uh, uh, my our GPU device so this is my GPU device if you have internal GPU then you can select CPU but I have external GPU and after selecting click on apply and go to manage 3d settings again and go to program settings and go to add options now you need to select your user emulator application file so browse options now go to your user emulator application file right click and open file location and this is my user emulator application file and click on apply 
and make sure uh, you are using latest version user emulator if you have older version user emulator then you can face many issues for your user emulator for any game then make sure you have latest version user emulator so i am using uso 1492 in 2023 So I hope this tutorial will be helpful for you guys. If you like it, then please subscribe my this channel. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. See you in the next video.